Yes guys, welcome back to the video. So in today's video, when is the best time to do cardio for fat loss? So first of all, why should you listen to me? My name is Max, I own a coaching company where I've helped hundreds of people lose weight and build a whole load of muscle. So I've got a pretty cool question whilst we're here. If you want me to answer your question, drop me a DM on my Instagram below or leave a comment below. Now it says, hey Max, I just wanna know when the best time to do cardio is and if it, is it even necessary to lose weight in the first place? I've heard so many conflicting things and I just wanna know which type of cardio is best, all right? So I'm gonna break this down and go over it because now, first things first, your training is number one. Resistance training is number one. If male or female, if you wanna have a good muscular, lean, fit body, it comes from weight training. No one built a great body by sitting on a bike, okay? We build muscle in the gym, but cardio is important. Now, we never want it to interfere with our training from a recovery standpoint, fatigue standpoint. So that rules it out pre-workout, in my opinion. You should never go to the gym and do your cardio before you train. It will affect your lifts. Your lifts are more important, okay? We have to improve our lifts and get stronger over time to build muscle. The more muscle you have, the leaner you tend to be. So cardio pre-workout is a no-no. So that leaves us with a few different things. We want to space it as far away from training as possible. First thing in the morning, you train afternoon, evening. If you train in the evening, you do your cardio first thing in the morning. If you train in the morning, you can do your cardio in the evening, okay? Try and put it as far away from training as possible. Cardio should always be done. It's crucial for your health markers. It's crucial for recovery. It's crucial um, for muscular endurance. And it just has a whole host of benefits that I'm not even gonna go into, okay? Now, I also don't mind cardio being post-workout. If you're busy, you probably don't have time to train twice a day. I think it's totally fine to do your cardio post-workout, okay? You can even also break it up, maybe 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes post-workout. Just never pre-workout. Now, which type of cardio should you be doing, which is the golden age question, which, which cardio should I do? I think in a fat loss phase, now a lot of people that watch my channel want to lose body fat, in a fat loss phase, I'm a big believer that you should do steady state cardio, okay? Zone two, heart rate, 120 to 140 beats per minute. Why? It doesn't increase your appetite, it increases blood flow and helps with recovery, and it's not gonna cause too much fatigue, okay? We, to lose body fat, we need to be in a deficit. Hard hit training, hard intervals, massively spikes your appetite, massively spikes fatigue. In a fat loss phase, I recommend steady state cardio. How much completely depends on you and where you're at in your fat loss phase. I mix steady state and HIIT training into my routine. I do conditioning, I do HIIT, I do steady state. I do it multiple times a week. And guys, if I feel tired or knackered, I'll just eat an extra six, I'll just have another meal. I'll have another six, 700 calories. It doesn't matter because I'm kind of in a nice maintenance phase and I know that that type of training kind of keeps me where I'm at. However, if I moved into an aggressive fat loss phase and wanted to go from lean to shredded, I would pull intervals pull conditioning and just strictly move to steady state and steps and pull my calories down. If I'm into a gaining phase, if I'm driving my body weight up, trying to pack on as much muscle as possible, I'm definitely gonna incorporate some HIIT training or some conditioning because I know carrying that extra weight, I want to be conditioned. It's gonna help me recover from my sets. I want you to think about this. If you're in a deficit, okay, and you're already tired, you're already sore, you're already under eating, and you're already super fatigued, if you go and do 10 rounds of hill sprints and you finish it and you're fucked and you have to come home, you have to sleep for half an hour, you're super tired, you're then really, really hungry, there's a very good chance you're gonna eat more food that day. And if you don't eat more food because you're disciplined, you're gonna just suffer and be really, really hungry. And what tends to happen is your NEAT, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is just overall movement, me right now, I'm burning calories by moving my hands and blinking. Fatigue management is everything during a fat loss phase. If you're knackered, if you can't recover, you're more likely to eat, your sleep's gonna get affected, you're gonna start lifting less in the gym. Once that happens, you start to lose muscle, then your BMR goes down and it's a big shit show from there. So that's my extremely long-winded way of saying cardio as far away from training as possible or post-workout. In a fat loss phase, steady state, in a muscle building phase or maintenance phase, intervals, conditioning, and all that fun stuff. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, drop me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment in the box below. Peace.